Is it being fake to be nice to someone you don't really like? Depends on the context. If you're going out for dinner with this person or other social interaction then yeah, I'd say it's fake. If you work with THRM or go to college school whatever, it's merely being polite, potentially even professional. No, that's just being polite. No. That's called being a grown-up. And diplomatic. No need to escalate anything if it doesn't call for it. Being neutrally polite to people you don't like is an important life skill. When it becomes fake is when you pretend to be good friends with them. I tell my daughter, not everyone you like will like you back. You won't like everyone that likes you. That's okay and that's part of life. The important thing is to be kind and respectful to everyone, even if we don't like them, because that's how we would wish to be treated. That's just polite. Fake would be if you actually started lying to them about stuff. A lot of times it's easier than being mean and starting drama. If you're leading them on to believe your friends, yes. If you're just saying hello, no. No, it's being an adult. That's literally 99 of adulthood. It's called being civil. We're living in a society here. George Costanza. It depends. 1. Do you get fired from your job if you don't? 2. Do you get arrested for treating them how you really want to? No that's the right thing to do. You don't like them, avoid them as much as you can, but when you see them be respectful and don't start anything. I'd say being fake would be taking it to the extreme, compliments, taking major interest in their interests, agreeing to call, etc. Best to keep things plain and civil. Being fake is more of a deliberate fake sincerity with the subtle intention of double-crossing said person. What you described is more akin to a dislike of confrontation. I think there's a difference between fake and polite but that may just be me. To me, polite is part of being a mature adult. You can acknowledge someone, treat them respectfully and kindly and that's not fake after all sometimes with work, family, or social gatherings there's that one person you don't like but why cause drama? To me you cross into fake territory when you lie, try to get information to use against them or even just to gossip about or use to make yourself and feel better. Pretending to care purposefully insert yourself into situations that include them is a big one. No. That's called being an adult. Yes, I think so. You can be polite without having to be nice. This largely depends on context for me. Are you at work? A casual social gathering? Out in public running errands? There are very few situations where someone I genuinely dislike will get a hello and a smile as an imperative to seeing them. No, it is not being fake unless you are just being nice to them and them only. Yes, but I mean that's the spoil expectation. Yes, 100. Punch them in the face and gouge their eyes out every chance you get. People will say it is, yes. But then you're a bitch if you're mean to them too. It's basically like you just have to actually like everyone you meet, which is ridiculous. Well yes but everyone does it even me. It's called manners. We associate with people on a professional and somewhat social level that requires basic pleasantries. It's not fake at all. It's not fake, it's polite. Actually, it's a great skill to have. I sometimes have a hard time doing this. I am polite but I think it's obvious if someone gets under my skin. I feel like it's a high level of emotional maturity. Be as rude as you like up. See how far in life that gets you. Being civil and polite doesn't have to be fake. Remember, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It's being polite and it's the lubricant that keeps the world from grinding to a halt. It's holding the door open for the person coming into the shop as you're leaving it's using your turn signals when you're driving. It's the things you do to help make the world a more pleasant place. That's just common courtesy. It's totally fake, but sometimes really necessary like at work, or around people that are friends with your bestie. Yes, but it's not bad. I don't think it is. You're just being gentle because you still feel that if you're nice to the person, 
The person will be nice to you. A thing that rarely happens. That's pretty much the definition of it. Do you? Do you not know what the word fake means? Tolerance has many levels. Progression is an impasse of the individual. Sometimes things can change by being nice first. It's the professional thing to do in the workplace and the polite thing to do with family and friends of friends, emo. I usually don't bother with anyone else. My go-to quote is that the opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference. If you can be neutral and civil but no more to a bully, you win. Don't let anyone create drama by toying with you. Don't let them create any reaction making you look crazy or hateful. Just be chill. Curtius is fine. Keeps things from being openly hostile. No, it's being morally respectful to others. My wife says, you can think whatever you want. It's what you let come out of your mouth that gets you in trouble. So true. No, being kind and courteous to people is simply something that should be done whether you want to know them or not something Americans can learn from the French. I don't think you should be nice to everyone. I think it's okay to let the flag fly a while. Yes, if you don't like me, please bring up your reasoning with me at your convenience. I wish to diffuse negative tension with others. That said, there is nothing wrong with withholding negative emotion until an opportunity to discuss it presents itself. I find it's necessary in order to function in society. It's best to be cordial with people you don't like, so no.